Please raise your right hand. Just by the testimony you're about to give, please read the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Yes. yes. Please state your names and spell your last names for the record. Jaswinder Pabla, P-A-B-L-A. And your uh, first name? Jaswinder, J-A-S-W-I-N-D-E-R. Okay, thank you. Uh, first is E-R-J-N, last name K-U-N. I'm sorry, A-R-J. U-N, last name K-U-N-W-A-R. Thank you. Also, can I see it all as Z-E-T-L-K, which one is? Tyler Zubinick, B-U-E-D-N-I-K, licensing investigator. While performing a field investigation, an underage individual working with the Cambridge License Commission was able to procure a six-pack of beer on August 15, 2019 at 3.40 p.m. at Libby's Market located at 575 Massachusetts Avenue. I picked up the underage operative from the Cambridge Police Department on the afternoon of August 15. I collected all items from the individual so that there was nothing on their person and gave them one marks $20 bill. We reviewed the License Commission's compliance check guidelines and the individual signed the Agreement of Participation, Waiver of Liability, and Guidelines. The underage individual entered the establishment. I waited outside of the premise, on the sidewalk, with a clear view of the door. When the operative exited the establishment, they were in possession of a six-pack of beer, which Officer Zito and I then immediately retrieved, along with the change. I also asked if the cashier who sold them the six-pack asked for identification, and the operative informed me that they had not. I returned the six-pack and change, informed the cashier that they had sold a six-pack to an underage person and requested my March $20 bill back, which they returned. I then filled out inspection form number 983, which was signed, and a copy was left with the establishment. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, definitely, uh, the employee behind the counter who served, um, operated, uh, you know, made a bad judgment in terms of uh, checking the ID. Uh, there was a group of people he was trying to serve uh, them and uh, let them uh, go uh, fast from the store. That's why uh, they checked the ID. Um, we haven't uh, had like uh, you know this kind of thing uh, for so many years. Uh, on our weekly uh, staff uh, and a monthly staff meeting, and these are the top two things uh, we go through: uh, checking IDs and uh, no service for an intoxicated person. Our store is located uh, in a right in the central square area, you know, which is the uh, most vulnerable area uh, for these two. Uh, when I do the meetings with my staff, uh, even before uh, training them regarding other merchandise and stuff, uh, these are the two things I always remind them. Um, back in 10 years ago, 2007-8, we used to uh, you know, have this one. But after that, uh, you know, we have been we have uh, put a uh, uh, electronic system, the card reader on the side. Now also, uh, there is a handbook because the uh, machine, electronic machine doesn't read all 50 states ID. So we have a, a handbook you know, that says 2019, all the updated uh, IDs from all the states. Um, so beside, uh, beside that, uh, in the past, uh, I used to go um, on the trainings that uh, Frank Connolly used to do, uh, you know, uh, how to check IDs and we used to uh, introduce like a 50 states ID and we used to check if the ID was, uh, was fake or not. So uh, I'm very familiar with these two things, uh, uh, checking IDs and uh, no service for the intoxicated person in the central square area. But this time, our employee definitely uh, made a bad judgment, uh, and I apologize for that. Thank you. Going forward, uh, uh, and I have uh, made a, in a group uh, on a WhatsApp, you know, so it's trendy, and I uh, send them a, a daily reminder, check IDs, no service for intoxicated person, like on a daily basis. Uh, especially on this, uh, because the privacy was so recent. That's all. Thank you. So they have um, been in operation for um, prior to 2013. I don't have exactly the date. Uh, 2004. 2004, thank you. Um, and the only disciplinary, or the most recent disciplinary history, was um, in 2013 for service to minors. That was uh, the last uh, violation was regarding uh, the fake ID. Uh, we uh, produced the uh, uh, ID on the machine, and the machine read it was over 21, uh, but in uh, reality the ID was fake.
here, once again, there was no ask for ID. So if any car reader or whatever, it's not going to help. Yeah. So consistent with everything else, evaluation 2-1, approval of the Thank you. We'll receive a statement of reasons. Thank you.